welcome back. I'm Mark Richard Adams, post-production professional, and I'm going to do a short video today about um, consolidating and consolidating in Premiere. Now, what is consolidating? Well, quite simply, it's about getting your sequence and shrinking it down, throwing away the unused media and archiving the main cut. Basically, that's what it is. So it's really useful for uh, saving uh, or, or recouping, recouping uh, uh, drive space, which is expensive, and also archiving your sequence. Now, if we jump into Premiere, we have a sequence here. And in the sequence, lots of cuts, lots of stuff going on, alpha channel graphics, things like that. Uh, what we want to do is archive this sequence. Now, this sequence, all these clips have got, you know, they, they come from much, much bigger clips. Uh, we've got lots of different stuff going on. Um, but this is just a sequence I want. I don't really want anything else going on in this project. Now, in this project, I've got various different series, media, graphics, music, etc. <clears throat> the grade from Resolve. Um, this media actually has been very kindly donated by Unipro, which is a uh, company that uh, runs a YouTube channel for uh, student engagement uh, via professionals. So professionals can give their advice and, and uh, top tips for various things. So thank you to Unipro for allowing us to use this. Um, so we need to find a sequence. So if you can't find it, um, generally it would be in the edits, but actually this is something that came from Resolve. So I've got it in five underscore resolve here and there's a sequence here but if you couldn't find it in your sequence for any reason if you click on the three little lines there and you go to reveal sequence in project and there we go here it is highlight your sequence file project manager and this is what we get this panel pops up and you can see there are a ton of sequence each one of these is a sequence okay inside this project you think crikey have i really made that many but it's important too because you need to make backup sequences you need to do different versions uh and i'm always throughout the day of my edit i'll always you know an hour in i'll always duplicate another sequence just for safety i don't always rely on auto save i don't particularly trust auto saves um i quite like you know uh, you know 10 o'clock 11 o'clock 12 i'll just make a new cut and i'll call it cut nine then cut 10 cut 11 but if you roll through, you will see there's a little check mark against this sequence here. Now, if all of them were selected, it would archive or consolidate all of them. We just want this sequence here, and you can see that that's the one highlighted. Now, going down the rest of this panel, we can see collect files and copy to new location. Well, what that does, that will collect everything in this sequence here, and it will send it to another drive or a new location, but everything, you know, everything in that cut. You know, if a clip is five seconds long, in the sequence but it comes from a minute um, clip it'll take the entire minute we want to consolidate and transcode we want to shrink down the project which is what consolidating means and to transcode it to a new codec so firstly I want to make sure it's referenced to the sequence I want the sequence as well I need the sequence data which is all here uh, we've got three choices in this particular version of Premiere we've got the Avid DNX series um, MXF OP1As uh, it was just a wrapper basically that's all it is just like quicktime it holds information and you've got the mxf op1a as well which is um something that premiere and Final Cut pro 10 would use as well but we want to use quicktime good old quicktime love it um and i want to transcode to 42 hd 1080p 25 okay happy with that it is progressive it's hd and it is 25 frames per second going down we can now choose a location the location for us is the media initially is actually on this drive on the CMI media drive but I want it to go to this one super CMI inside demo um, and we're going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it con salt date underscore uh, this particular um, uh, sequence is a VT and underscore and I'm just going to put the initials of the contributor and now I'm going to put the date and the date today is the 19th the second 21 okay there's our folder that we're going to consolidate to okay that's going to house all of our media and also it's going to create uh, actually a new premiere project so we've got the sequence we've got what we want to do to the sequence we have the location let's just check hit calculate we can actually um, analyze how big the sequence is going to be so it's going from 106 to 6.83 not bad now, if we go to the options, we have got various things. Exclude unused clips. That's fine. We don't want to have things in there that we don't need. 
include handles. Now, handles are really, really important. Um, what are handles? Well, really loosely, handles are um, uh, media added to the clip at the top and the tail. So if you look at this clip here, this one here, I'm just with my mouse on. Let's say that clip is five seconds long. What adding handles will do, if you add 25 frames handles, which is a second, okay, it'll add 25 frames to the top and it'll add 25 frames to the end. Okay? Now, that won't be shown in the sequence. You'll just be able to roll it. Okay? You'll, you'll have an extra two seconds to play with. So a five-second clip will therefore become seven seconds. A 10-second clip will therefore become 12, etc. I always like to have the minute, just for archive, 25 is fine. Uh, don't need the rest. Rename the files yet. Yeah. Uh, preserve alpha. Yes, very important. There are graphics in here. I need to preserve the alpha channel. Click OK. And away we go. So it's now transcoding the media. Again, really good tip, a good way of getting um, your blue bars to move quicker through that sequence. You know, if you want that bar to speed up, uh, I know many people think that can't happen, uh, but I found a really interesting way uh, a little while back. Is if you tilt your monitor to the right, gravity will help pull it down. Yes, I'm a dad, and that's a dad joke. Whilst it's doing that, actually, and sort of going beyond my terrible jokes, if we go to the actual drive that we're looking at, you can see it populate which is quite cool. So it's building here, and if we go to demo, you can see in console WT, open that up. And it creates this transcoded universe series, that's good. Inside there, you can see it populating as we go. So it's building as we go. So you can click on any of these clips, there we go, there we go. The one with the QuickTime reference is the one that's building at the moment. So let's just speed through this. And we're done, great. Okay, what we want to do now after the project saves is um, do this. We want to save and we want to quit. And let's have a look at the drive. Um, okay, so we are in demo. There's the consolidate. There it is. And you can see inside the consolidate, there's everything there. It's even taken across the PNGs, which is great audio and look there's the project and I want to open up the new consolidated sequence and here we go now you'll see that it's going to be creating the peat files down here and um, we have a sequence we have actually a sequence we have everything we have all the cuts we can move the clips around we can move them over here you know this is not a baked in file this is the sequence which is really important for archiving Move that over there, good. Um, let's have a little look at the project. Okay, now you can see inside the project, right, that it still retains some of my media management, okay? And that's okay. What it's done, it's kept the folders. That's okay, it's kept the folders, uh, but it's it's removed everything else, okay? Or copy the most important things. You can see the original project was in Resolve, and there it is there. And this is the sequence here, which is great. Uh, if we just have a little peek, so if I click on we go to show me the inspector, and there it is, ProRails. Nice, good, it's working. Everything appears to be happy. Now let's have a quick look at this clip here, and let's see what has added those handles. It has, look, 25 on the top and 25 in the end. Excellent. You can see, so when you come to using the roll tool, we can actually roll the clip, and we've got two seconds to play with, okay? Good. That's what we wanted to see. We now have a sequence that is consolidated onto another drive that we can archive. Okay, the drive that it's come from, if you so wish, you can choose to delete that media now because it's really the sequence that's the main the main thing. So if your client comes back, you can open this out. You can do a few tweaks, a few changes, and away you go. Really hope that's um, of interest to you. I hope you've had uh, fun watching the video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and uh, I'll see you again soon.